This is 40-year-old entrepreneur Mike Cesario. And when he devised the brand name for his product, he came up with something unconventional. What's the dumbest possible name for a super healthy, safest beverage possible? Liquid Death. Liquid Death, Mountain Water. Probably the dumbest name. Yeah, Liquid Death, water in a can. Dumb name, skulls on the packaging. But according to Mike, the co-founder and CEO of Liquid Death, that's part of the reason why his company has brought in nearly $130 million in sales this year alone. Mike started playing guitar in punk bands and says one of them had several offers from recording labels to put out a record, but he also felt creatively drawn elsewhere. In 2009, a friend of Mike's put him on the backstage list for the Warp Tour in Denver, Colorado. Many of the bands were sponsored by Monster Energy. I was just hanging out with them and we saw these, you know, stacks of what looked like, you know, Monster. These guys are drinking it and it turns out like, oh, it's actually not Monster, it's water because these guys don't actually want to drink these energy drinks. Have you ever heard of a real witch summoning demons and trapping them inside cans of water? Inside this very warehouse sits the entire inventory of liquid death mountain water. Each can is about to be infused with real demons by a real witch. A lot of what I practice can be considered traditional witchcraft. What you're about to witness is very real, very dangerous, and in my opinion, a terrible idea. We enter into the dark half of the year. Now is the time of the dead. I ask you spirits, those who are listening, I invite you here. I offer this water as a vessel for you to come into this world. When the cans are opened, you are released. I welcome you. Now is the time of the dead. Demon-infused liquid death. If you drink it, will you become possessed?
I have three cups of water. I'm gonna tell one, thank you every day. Uh, and it's got rice in it. I'm gonna tell one I hate you and I'm just gonna ignore that one. Uh, and yeah, I used reverse osmosis water from Whole Foods, so there's nothing in the water extra. It's like organic rice, so it doesn't have any extra chemicals in it, so we'll see what happens. I'm going to take a video shot of these cups every day after saying that. Alright, so it's only been like... 10 days or something like that, but I'm just going to take these out because they're starting to look gross. But the one I said thank you to, um, it, uh, it's growing like some sort of yellow mold on it. The one I said I hate you to has got like some like, it's turning like blackish almost, like getting dark and it's got like little green splotches and it's not really, I don't know, kind of looks like death, you know. And then this one, uh, that I just ignored really didn't have too much of anything happen to it. Um. So yeah, that's that. 10 day rice and water test.